All right guys, this is John from the House of Hydro. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, industrial strength home humidifier from uh, ultrasonic humidifiers that you can build on our website, thehouseofhydro.com. Um, check out the links below. I've got links to my storefront and a bunch of other DIY articles and uh, how to. Um, so anyway, it's easy. What we're going to do is first drill a hole for our waterproof fan and then we're going to drill two output holes over here uh, with the same hole saw uh, for the fog to to get pushed out of you want to make sure that you have enough output holes to uh, adequately uh, let the fog out so, so your fans not backed up if, it, if there's not enough output then it'll try to push a fog up back through your fan and uh, make your fan wear out quicker. So first hole we're going to do Alright so we got our three holes. I'm going to get all this uh, mess cleaned up and I'll be right back. Alright so we've got our three holes now um, now we're going to unbox our 12 head mist maker that I'm going to use in here. Uh, it's our biggest mist maker. It'll put out uh, 6,000 milliliters per hour. Um, it comes with the 12 head float and a set of extra discs. So you have everything you need to run for quite a while. The discs last between 3,000 and 5,000 hours depending on how hard your water is. So here's the 12 head, the transformer on it is really heavy, comes with a low water sensor, shuts off automatically as soon as your water gets low. Uh, these are the best quality units out there, I've been through three manufacturers and this is by far the best unit out there. Um, check out my reviews and feedback on eBay, they're absolutely great, all my customers leave me great feedback. We've got a push button reset that comes standard on the 9 and 12 head units. Uh, the 5 head units come with a uh, removable fuse, the 1 and 3 head units don't have any fuse at all, it's just a hard transformer. Uh, you don't want to get the units with the clusters of LEDs, they're just like leak points and without a doubt your unit will short out within a few weeks. Um, they're garbage, they're really just made to use like uh, during Halloween and uh, stuff like that. That's why the price is so low on them. Uh, the units with the brass discs are also, uh, they're junk. The, the brass will collect build up on it and they wear out super fast and uh, as soon as that build up starts on there your missed output is greatly reduced so make sure you get the ceramic discs that have the teflon coating on them and get them on my website uh, or on ebay or amazon uh, lowest price out there check around um, i do so i'm always giving you guys the lowest prices uh, every set that you buy comes with uh, an extra set of discs that'll do your whole mist maker, so this 12 head here would come with 12 extra discs. You can use any size mist maker in here you want, obviously, uh, depending on your needs. A 12 head will without a doubt do uh, a very large house. Um, a lot of people buy bigger than what they need and run it on a timer so you're not running your mist maker 24-7 because uh, it does need a cool down period. Uh, I think it's every eight hours you need to let it cool down for an hour. So now that we're plugged in, uh, you can see the red light comes on here. It shows that you're getting power to the unit. All we need to do is drop this right down in the float like that and then drop it into our water. As soon as that, as soon as that uh, low water sensor hits the water, it starts making fog right away. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and run it back up through here.
You have 30 feet of cord that comes with this. So you have plenty of room to run this wherever you need to run it. We're just going to go up through one of our output holes. It's the uh, easiest way out of this thing without creating more holes and more hassle. I personally don't need one of these because I live in South Florida and it's humid as hell here. But we're going to run it out of one of our output holes so it doesn't affect our fan. And we also want the mist maker on this side of the unit because you don't want the splash coming up and hitting your fan. Um, the 12 heads do go through the water pretty quick. Um, you can make a external reservoir by buying a smaller one of these tubs and sitting it in the middle or crossways on this. And then what you'll do is on this side over here, uh, you will put a uh, seven inch mini float with a quarter inch NPT valve. And what that'll do is you'll be able to connect your external reservoir to your, uh, your actual mist tank. And uh, you just put it at the height you need it and set the one on top, it'll be gravity fed and it'll fill as you need it. Um, so that's an easy way to get another 15, 20 gallon reservoir on your mist maker um, for only, I mean, really another $10. <coughs> All right, so we have our mist maker in there. I'm gonna plug it back in. Now real quick, let's look at this fan. Let me make sure we're running here. There we go. Sometimes you got to give it a little tap to make that connection and then once it's going, it'll stay going. Now our fan here is an 80 millimeter waterproof fan. Uh, you can get these through my website or uh, one of the links on the bottom there. Uh, this is completely sealed fan. Uh, it's completely filled with epoxy, so everything's waterproof. These will run for a real long time. All you need to do is wire a transformer. Now you can get these in six variable, variable speeds. It'll adjust the voltage from 12 to 3 volts and it'll allow you to adjust the speed of your fan and therefore adjust your mist output. Uh, what you're going to do whenever you put this down is just run a little strip of silicone around here because you don't want the the fan being able to backdraft on itself. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to do that though because I don't plan on using this as a humidifier. So these fans right here will push a good bit of air. As you can see, works pretty good. So now that we cleared out some of that initial mist, you can see that's what it's putting out at a constant rate. That's how you make a commercial mist maker for really about $250. If you want to go with one of the smaller units, and really your cost is in the, uh, in the ultrasonic mist maker itself. Uh, if you went with a three head or a five head model, you could uh, really spend less than $100 on making yourself a, a, a true commercial humidifier. Let's look at this real quick before I go. And let's look at the different speeds. So that's full speed right there. Let's let some of that mist clear out. Now this is next to highest speed. Let's go down one more.
as you can see these are also great to replace the fog effect machines that do the theatrical fog.